Hello friends, welcome to Happy Home Tuber and in this video I am going to share 3 secret tips for making Gobi 65 just like restaurant style. So let's get started. So what we will do is we need to take medium sized uh, cauliflower, cut it into the florets, medium sized florets and we need to put boiling water in that. Just dip these florets into boiling water. We need to add some salt so that all the impurities will be gone and our cauliflower will be super clean. Now we need to cover it and rest it for about 15 minutes. In a mixing bowl, we need to take 1 4th cup of all-purpose flour, 1 4th cup of corn flour or you can also take ara root in that and to this we need to add some rice flour. Here I have taken 2 tablespoon of rice flour in a mixing bowl. We need to mix this and along with the salt. So salt I am only adding 1, four, uh, one half teaspoon only. So then tip number 1 is to add little bit of oil in the batter. And now we need to add some red chilli paste, here I have taken only one spoon and this red chilli paste is versatile, it's absolutely yummy and the recipe is also given in the i button. So do check the recipe and this you can also store it in a fridge for about months. So you can use it in so many recipes. So we need to just mix it, I am just using a spoon, normal spoon to mix this. We need to take some water to make it a thick batter. So approximately I have added only one third cup of water in that. So you need to add the water slowly so that the lumps will not be formed. Now we need to add some seasoning or some flavoring. So for that I have taken ginger garlic paste, chopped coriander uh, leaves and some curry leaves. So we need to put it and mix it well. So you can check the consistency of our batter, it should be thick. So the tip number two is we need to take our cauliflower and add some dry spices like chili powder, some salt, one tablespoon of corn flour so that it will stick nicely and here I have taken some garam masala and turmeric and this special powder recipe is also given in the i button, do check this recipe. This uh, powder is also used in many recipes and many dishes so do check that also and now we need to mix it very nicely so that our gobi will be coated with all the spices nicely and you can see the gobi looks very flavorful and uh, like it's, it's looking good so now we need to mix it and coat it in our batter so see the batter is thick and when once we will start mixing it will helps to coat the gobi very nicely in the batter so the, so the consistency should be like this only. If you if your batter is thin or running consistency then your gobi 65 will not be very crispy. So make sure the batter will be thick. And now you can see it is uh, it looks ready and now you, you need to marinate this for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can also keep it inside the fridge also. So just cover it and marinate it, let it sit and the tip number 3 is to add just few drops of food coloring. If you don't want to add more chilli powder then you can add some red color so that it will uh, exactly look like, a, like from restaurant. So and if you can mix more chilli you can do that. Now we need to fry these from, uh, in medium to high flame. So don't fry the, uh, them in low flame because it might get soggy. So you just need to fry them in from medium to high flame. And some people they also uh, fry double fry this Gobi, uh, Gobi 65. But I don't prefer that because it's, it's a double fry it's not uh, required. And if you follow my recipe you will not require to do double fry this. And you can see this looks absolutely crispy. And I can hear the noise also if I shake it. It is, uh, it is coming noise so that means it is crispy. Now the, pa the garnishing part we have to take some curry leaves and we need to fry them and we need to put it on the or on our gobi 65. So just be a little bit of uh, cautious and I am very scared of doing this part. So you can see you just need to uh, fry these in the oil. Be careful while frying because they uh, splutter and pop here and there. So now we need to garnish it with the fried curry leaves and and this looks really good and tasty Be, uh, just do uh, remember to serve it hot only and as an appetizer this is the lovely recipe i have tried many times in my home and everybody loved it so guys thanks for watching do subscribe to happy home tuber and till then bye